monopolized the news this week somehow, and none of it very good, um, because there was other news that also came out of out of big D. <clears throat> Mark Cuban was fined 600 grand for saying losing is our best option on the House Call with Dr. J podcast. Star Dirk Nowitzki made it clear he is not on board with tanking, telling reporters, "I'll never stand for losing on purpose. It's not who I am." Um, I don't know who's surprised. It's a little blunt and very honest, Coach. But when you hear Cuban say it and then Dirk say it, what what are your thoughts on tanking? It's like everybody knew they were tanking but Dirk. <laughs> <laughs> I hate saying that, but it's like, you know, I just, I, you don't want to come out and say it. Sure. I understand that. Um, but at the same time, this is a business, and you're trying to strategically put yourself in position to get the best draft pick. Um, Dallas is a destination city, as we know, so one pick could be the difference between them going from the seller to jumping into the playoff picture. These are the type of things that Dirk better have a wink-wink deal to be a part owner. <laughs> because part of owner. these last couple of years wow. with the Mavs. But here's the thing. We saw the Philadelphia 76ers Oof. acknowledge that they were going to be tanking. What? And we got the tagline, <laughs> trust the process. But they changed the name of it. It's the T word. We don't like the T word. Process. It's moving forward. Right. Correct. <laughs> but we have not had an owner on record telling the players in uniform yeah, that's... that they were trying to lose. Usually we separated the two. Now they're equal. And how about this? You mean to tell me he's sitting talking to players about tanking and Dirk ain't in that conversation? I know. I you usually would include that? him in that conversation. <laughs> you would think they would have that conversation privately first, but it didn't happen. And, and, you know, this is one of those situations. You see it happen all over the league. This mm -hmm. is just the first time that it's being declared. Uh, okay, so take me into the room um, because I, what Dirk said makes a lot of sense. Like, nobody wants to go out and lose, especially when you're on the back end. So is it not possible – that some people know, and maybe Dirk didn't because they want to sort of keep him clean. I mean, he is going to retire at some point. Yeah, I would say that. But look, you wouldn't have your spurs. Excuse me? You wouldn't have your spurs. I don't like where this oh, is the going. year David Robinson got <laughs> injured, and they had the number one pick by... So Completely Missing legit. Basketball game. Mr. Fundamentals. And who did they get? Mr. Fundamentals. Oh, Tim, Tim Duncan. Duncan. Luck of the draw. First Boys, pick in the draw. draft. Big <laughs> fundamental. Whoa. I have a solution, though. Okay. Each team that's going to be in the lottery, yeah. if the NBA gave all of them an equal opportunity to get the number one pick, hmm. that now eliminates tanking. You have a lot of solutions. That's a good solution. I like that. Right? Joe. So if a team that's on the outside, like nine, for example, yeah. so say in the East right now that's Charlotte or Miami or Detroit, say they had the same opportunity to get the number one pick <laughs> as the Mavs, they play. as the Nets. Now you don't incentivize teams to lose. All right, devil's advocate, why would they agree to do that? Why would anyone agree to that? To avoid tanking. To avoid 50% of the league not trying right. to be competitive on the night. And your product, and the the product looking, looking poor. You yes, want, You want good basketball out there. You want the fans to enjoy the product. And so you don't want to necessarily be playing games out there where people change the channel. And yes. it's hard. It's hard on the fans. If he would have said rebuilding, would he have seen 600000 as a fine? No, you don't rebuild with some of those rosters when I'm having the remote in my hand watching league pass. I can see it. Yeah. That's why he got fined $600,000, because he actually said it. Yeah, the word. I'm Semantics. telling you. It's, it's all what, the, the process, right. good. Rebuilding, good. Tank, no good. I learned early on in my sideline career, you never ask a coach about a collapse. Like the C word. That was the C word. So mm -hmm. I feel like there are just some words that trigger a $600,000 <laughs> fine. I thought I tough. got hit. Tough yes. Week. <laughs> <laughs> tough week for the Mavs. Okay, I promised you, Jalen. We want to see Chris Paul. Show us Chris Paul. Thank you. I need to see what you guys were talking about. He and uh, James Harden both obviously playing for the Rockets. They are dominant. And as I've heard you guys talk repeatedly, legitimate. There he is. Oh, hey. Ride him, Cowboy. Oh. <laughs> now, I have to ask you a question, Michelle. You better have lost a bet. Was he laying on the bed trying to put those pants on? <laughs> a lot is of that starch, how that works? A lot of starch in those Coach, bad have boys. you ever done that? Hella high water. <laughs> oh.